Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can prevent attendees in Microsoft Teams from removing other participants and also from muting other participants. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. So why is this even a problem? Well, it's happened a lot where maybe you're a teacher and you're trying to run a lecture and you have students who are removing other people from your class. And so all of a sudden you go from 30 students in the class to only 15 because someone removed other people. Or maybe one of your students is presenting or asking a question and all of a sudden they stop mid-sentence and you can no longer hear them because another student muted them. Whatever the reason, you have the ability to set up your meeting in a way where removing attendees and also muting attendees is no longer possible. And also, let's say you're partway into a lecture and you notice it becoming a problem, I also wanna show you how you could squash that behavior mid-lecture when you're already joined in the team session. It's very easy to do, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can do it. And let's say that you're a student or a class clown or a troublemaker who's been taking advantage of this. I'm sorry I'm putting this video out, but unfortunately you're gonna to have to find some other ways to have fun. Maybe you can do it with virtual backgrounds. All right, well, let's jump on the PC and I'll show you how you can do it. All right, here I am on my desktop and I am in Microsoft Teams and let's pretend that I'm a teacher and I currently have two of my students in a class. I currently have Adele and I currently have Emily. Now, both Adele and Emily are known to be troublemakers and sometimes they kick other students out of class and sometimes they mute other students in my class. Now, I'm gonna jump over into, here's Adele's view. So this is Adele's view in Teams and currently what she could do is here's the list of all the people in the meeting. So Adele sees Emily and me, Kevin the teacher. And what she could do is she could click on Emily and she has a lot of control. What she could do is let's say Emily's microphone was not muted. Adele could go in and she could mute Emily. And what she can also do is she could remove Emily from the meeting. So let's say there's a class going on. Adele could simply go down the list and boot everyone from the session. And me as a teacher, I'm not going to find that all that amusing. Uh, in fact, I don't like that at all. So let's say that this meeting's already going on and I've noticed that Adele has been booting people out. How do I prevent that from happening? Well, let me go back to my view. So I'm back in Kevin's view here. I'm the organizer of this meeting. And you see here that everyone here is currently listed as a presenter. So what I could do is if I right click on Adele, I have the option to set her as an attendee. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's make Adele an attendee and it asks me to confirm that I wanna do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on change. And so you see the text here, it says, this will affect who can share content, who can mute people and who can remove people and admit people from the lobby. So if I make her an attendee, she no longer has the ability to do any of that. So let's change that. What you'll see happened is now that I've made Adele an attendee, you see two separate headers. One is presenters, previously everyone was a presenter, and now there's a new header called attendees. And I'm also gonna make Emily an attendee as well. So I'm gonna right click on her, make her an attendee. Once again, I see that same confirmation message and I'm gonna go ahead and change her as well. And so now let me jump into one of their views. So here I'm in Emily's view and let's say that, you know, Emily wants, she's up to no good and she wants to boot Adele from the session. If she right clicks on Adele, she no longer has the option to mute. She no longer has the adoption to boot. Uh, unfortunately, all she can do is listen in. And in fact, even one thing that Emily can't do is she can no longer share either because she's no longer a presenter. And this effectively prevents other people in a meeting from both muting and removing other attendees once the session is already in progress. Now the trouble is, let's say you have 30 or 40 people in your Microsoft Teams meetings. It might take time here, I'm back in Kevin's view, it might take time to go through each individual and to make them either an attendee or make them a presenter. And that could take a lot of time. Is there some way you could do this all up front? And yes, when you're setting up a meeting, you can set this. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, let's leave this meeting for now. And the way I could do that is I'm gonna jump in into the calendar view. So I'm gonna click on the calendar pivot. I'm gonna go into this meeting. So this big important meeting or the class that I'm hosting. And within here, I see all of the meeting details. The option I care about is the one that says meeting options. So I'm gonna click on meeting options. And this is gonna shoot me out to a browser where I can now configure settings related to this meeting. So I have a few different settings, but the one I'm interested in is this one that says who can present. And effectively what this 
this does is it sets the role of a participant when they join the meeting. And currently I have it set to everyone. So that means whoever joins the meeting automatically becomes a presenter. And as a presenter, you can both mute and you could also remove other uh, attendees from the meeting. Now what I could do is I could go from everyone to just people in my organization. So let's say people in my organization join a meeting and people outside my organization join the meeting. I could limit it so only people in my organization are classified as presenters or I could define specific people. So here I could say, you know, maybe Emily's in my meeting and I want her to be a presenter, but you know, Adele, she just always gets in the trouble. Let me not make her a presenter. Or the other option I have is only me. And what will happen then is when I join the meeting, I will be a presenter, but none of my other participants in the meeting will be a presenter. So when I moved uh, Emily and when I moved Adele to be an attendee, if I saved this setting now and joined the meeting and Adele and Emily were to join the meeting, they would just automatically be listed as attendees. So here now I've set this setting. I'm gonna jump back into the meeting and here you'll see when I click on the view here, you'll see that I'm automatically a presenter and here Adele and Emily are automatically set as attendees. Uh, so if, you, if this is a problem in your organization or at your school, set the meeting options up front where everyone will automatically become an attendee and presenters and attendees these are effectively the permissions that a user has as a presenter you have more permissions than others so as a presenter you could share your screen you could mute you could remove you could accept people from the lobby or uh, don't accept people from the lobby and Adele and Emily are only attendees and so they can't present they can't share their screen they can't mute they can't remove they can't accept people from the lobby what what I also want to show is some of the other settings that you have. So I'm going to jump back into the settings screen and here not only can I set who can present, but some of the things I also have control over is I could define who can bypass the lobby. So if it's people in my organization, is it everyone? I could let everyone bypass the lobby by simply checking it, turning it on to yes, or I could uh, force people to come in through the lobby and allow me to accept it. So let's say that your students forward your class on to many, many other students and you have people joining your class who you've never seen before, you could use these controls to limit who can join. And then next, there's another feature here that says announce when callers join or leave. Maybe you have a student joining 10 minutes in and you want to be aware that they've joined. Or maybe a student leaves early and you want to make sure you're aware of that. Uh, I personally think it's annoying every time it announces when someone joins or leaves. But depending on your situation, this could be useful or maybe not useful. All right, well that was just a quick tutorial showing you how you could prevent attendees from muting others in your meeting and also from removing others from your meeting. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other ideas that you wanna see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.